Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be testing out the new Dr. Oka Momenti pizza. This is tomato and mozzarella and pesto pizza which is 422 calories and it serves one person. So the whole pizza is 422 calories. It's a new pizza, so let's have a look how long you should leave it in the oven for. In the oven, you should put it on 200 degrees and leave it in for 11 to 30 minutes until it is ready. It should be a light and crispy base. So let's give this a try and see what it looks like. So I've already put the oven on just to warm it up at 200 degrees. So I'm just going to open the package just to see what it looks like on the inside. Right, so that's the packaging once you take it out of the box. Get this pizza on. See the pizza through there. I'm going to take it out of the packaging so then you can have a better look. So that is what it looks like out from the box. It doesn't look like it got that much cheese on it. So it only got a bit of cheese, just sprinkles. Not as much. It does have a thick base on it. It does have a thick base on it at the bottom. And the edges, there you go. So I'm going to put this in the oven and join me back once it's all done. See you in a bit guys. Right, so it is time to take the pizza out. It's been in there for 13 minutes now. So let's have a look and see what it looks like in the inside. So I'm going to take that out now. As you can see, there's not that much cheese on it as how I would like it. So you can just see the topping on the top, but not as much cheese as I wanted it to be on top of it. So let's have a look at it together, put it on the plate. Right, I just transferred it onto the plate. Here's a close-up. All you can see is the topping. Not as much cheese as it's supposed to be. The way I like it, I like more cheese than that on my pizza. So let's see the bottom. See what it looks like on the bottom. Cut. So this is for one person, so I'm going to cut it into pieces and give it a taste test and let you know what I think of it. Now I cut it into four pieces, it was easy to cut through. And this is what it looks like once it's cut. It has got a thick base, the normal pieces. And this pizza is suitable for vegetarians. It says on the box, suitable for vegetarians. So I'm going to give it a taste test to see if it is actually got a crispy base and it's light or does it feel light when I eat it. So I'm going to taste it now and give my opinion on it. Uh, you can see the pesto on there, what they, say this, what they put on. Due to not having that much cheese on it, the toppings are falling off, as you can see, off the pizza. So, it is not the best pizza I've had. I had better than this one. It is crispy and it does feel light. 
but the topping just falls off as soon as you take a bite of it. So for this pizza, I will give it 5 out of 10. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. But one advice I would do is put more cheese on it to make it more cheesy for my liking. And I would make it like a thin base on this one. I think I put too much pesto on as you can see. And make sure the topping stays on, which I think would have stayed on if they would have put more cheese on it. So it's not really a mozzarella pizza because it's got that much cheese on it. So yeah, if you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.